we now have a native DWG import in RoofLogic, and we also have a EagleView XML import. So those of you importing DWGs currently into RoofCAD, then saving them as an RCG and bringing them into RoofLogic, you can now skip that step. So here's a blank base site plan. I'm going to go under File. I'm going to go uh, Import AutoCAD File. And there's my AutoCAD DWG. And double click that. And the import begins. Now, like just like RoofCAD would do, uh, we have no way of determining from the AutoCAD file what the uh, native uh, units are, were. In other words, um, when it was originally drawn on AutoCAD, what units uh, was the drawing based on? So that's something you, you have to know and, and often you guess. And if you get it wrong, you got to discard the drawing and, and get it again. But I'm going to say it was done in feet. Then I'm going to click OK. Um, also, before I click OK, notice that there's this. And this is something different that we don't do in RoofCAD. Um, here we have a checkbox for import items to a single layer. So AutoCAD operators uh, frequently use multiple layers. And that's confusing to us because the layers are typically cryptically named. Um, and in RoofCAD, we show you how to move everything to the zero layer after you've imported the drawing. This does it for you automatically. What it'll do is it'll bring everything instead of zero. You can send it to the zero layer, but we default it to an uh, AutoCAD layer. And that's convenient because when you're done digitizing the drawing, um, you simply discard the AutoCAD layer and the original AutoCAD drawing is gone and you're left with your digitized drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And it's importing. And there's your import of your AutoCAD drawing. And if I switch to the new AutoCAD layer, you can see everything is selectable. And then, of course, I can go to Manage Layers when I'm done with it, and I can just uh, delete that AutoCAD layer when I don't need it anymore. So now I'm ready to digitize over top of the AutoCAD drawing, and that's how our AutoCAD import works.